Hey, what's up YouTube? It's me, Sarah, and today I am going to be talking about my June 2022 favorites. This is part of my monthly favorites playlist, so if you haven't checked out my other monthly favorite video, I will go ahead and tag it up here for you to check out. Within my monthly favorites playlist, I just talk about new skincare that I've been trying out, shows that I've watched, movies, different purchases on Amazon, shopping related items. I just like to compile a monthly favorites for y'all so y'all can keep up to date with kind of what I've been trying out and enjoying. So first I'm going to start off with skincare. So I have been trying out three new SPFs and I have fallen in love with them. So I bought these from TJ Maxx. I love TJ Maxx, okay? I go there way more than I probably should, but TJ Maxx has so many awesome finds, whether it's clothes related, room decor, candles, whatever it is, I love looking through their skincare selection as well, and they always have really interesting SPFs. So the first one that I wanted to talk about is the Alba Botanica. So it's this one here, and this is SPF 45, and it is reef friendly, which is really cool. It is fragrance free. It was only $8. Honestly, y'all, there is no white cast. It leaves your skin feeling really moisturized, and it has caused no irritation whatsoever on my skin. I really, really love it. This was a steal deal for me. I love trying new SPFs, especially on my neck and chest area, just to see kind of how it feels. It is catered more towards sensitive skin types because it is fragrance-free, so I highly recommend. For $8, you get three ounces. Try it out if you ever go to TJ Maxx. This was a steal deal. The next SPF that I really loved was also from Alba Botanica, and this is actually their sport sunscreen. It's also SPF 45, and this one was only $6. Reef friendly, there's no fragrance. This one is sweat and water resistant. So I would highly recommend this one here. If you are going to be outdoors, if you know that you're gonna be doing something active and sweating, or if you're going to the beach, please try to opt for a sport type sunscreen that will help resist sweat in the water. If the formula isn't designed to protect you even while sweating or while you're swimming, then it's not gonna do that great of a job when protecting your skin from the UV rays, okay? So this one is four ounces and I also really love it. Golden. I really like this brand. I'm so pleasantly surprised at how well they worked with my skin. There's no white cast. It's very easy to glide on. There's not a lot of like working it into the skin for it to absorb. So that was a really great side note when it came to these two SPFs. The next SPF that I wanted to try out because I always hear about it and living in Texas, it's very hot, humid, and there's barely been any clouds lately. It's just been direct sunlight. So I wanted to go for a higher SPF, and I've always heard about the La Roche-Posay and Thelios uh, SPFs. This one is SPF 100. This is the Melton Milk Sunscreen. This is formulated with antioxidants to help fight the free radicals produced by the UV rays in our skin. Um, it does have UVA, UVB protection, and I did really like this one. This one is a little bit greasier than the Alba Botanica ones, but I do like the fact that this is SPF 100. So I like to apply this especially if I'm going to be outdoors, if I'm going to the beach. I do opt for the higher SPF. This SPF is formulated for the sensitive skin types. It's fragrance free and it's water resistant which is great. So highly recommend this one. It has a really nice smooth texture. It doesn't take a lot for it to absorb in my skin and yeah I really really liked it. The next skincare product that I have been loving and has really come in clutch for me is the Bliss Body Acne Spray. I've made a review about this already on my channel, so if you haven't already seen that video, I will link it down below in the description box, so go check it out because I talk about all that I love about this product. So this is formulated with 2% salicylic acid, it also contains uh, BHAs, witch hazel, niacinamide, zinc PCA, and sicca. So awesome product, okay? Because I live in Texas, I'm almost always sweating because I'm going in and outside for the dog, so being outside for like two minutes, I'm sweating bullets out there, and it's not a good 
equation when it comes to having acne prone skin. During the days where I'm just sweating a lot and I have yet to shower or I'm not able to shower because I'm going to go into a workout, if I'm going to be sweating for prolonged periods of time, I love to spray this Bliss Body Acne Spray on those acne prone areas. So on my back or my shoulders, on my chest, um, on my butt because sometimes I get that random butt pimple and the areas that gather a lot of moisture, I spray this spray on and it really helps prevent acne for me. This is a must have, okay? This is a must have during summer when you know you're gonna be sweating a lot. So highly recommend this, y'all. You can pick this up at Target and yeah, it's amazing. So the next favorites of mine is um, actually Amazon purchases. One of them is a purse that I stole from, from my sister. She bought this purse, I saw it, it was super cute, so I was like, I'm gonna buy myself one. Look how cute this purse is. Look at it. So this purse you can purchase off Amazon. It has like this woven material. When you look on the inside, it has like the lining so you don't have to worry about product slipping through. It does have a zipper so you can zip it closed if you would like. And it was so affordable, so freaking cute. Highly recommend this y'all, highly recommend it. I'll go ahead and drop the Amazon link down below so that y'all can maybe purchase this too. The next product from Amazon that I feel is really worth mentioning is actually not even my own. Again, it's my sister's, but I use it every day, so it's kind of technically mine, but it is the Bob and Brad massage gun. Trust me, I have gone through countless of massage guns, and they're all super loud for one, or they're not strong enough, or they die out after like two, three months of using it. This massage gun, has been amazing. First of all, it's so tiny. This is like technically travel size. I have a small hand and look how easy it is for me to hold. It glides really smoothly. It's strong. There are five different heads so you just push it in and bam. And when you turn it on That's the loudest it gets. Amazing. If you guys work out a lot or you're constantly getting knots or you just feel tense all the time, this is a product that I feel you would really benefit from. Now I'm going to go into the gift section of my June favorites. My sister went to a gaming convention and she brought back some really, really cool cards, okay? If you are a Studio Ghibli fan, you'll understand where these characters come from, but I use them as a bookmark. These are so cool. I really, really love them. So if you watch Studio Ghibli, comment down below because I am a huge Studio Ghibli fan. I love like almost all of their movies. And I also got a new plant and new pots for my plants. So I went to TJ Maxx again and I bought some new pots. Awesome. Love it. Let me know what you guys think about my new pots. And if y'all also love plants, I'd love to know what kind of plants you love to care for, which ones <laughs> you've had the most success growing. The next gift that I wanted to show y'all is actually from Merit Beauty. I am so honored that they have sent me new lipsticks to try from their signature lip campaign and they have just blown me away with the quality of their makeup and I wanted to take some time out of this video to thank them. Um, these two products were sent to me to try. This is part of their signature lip collection. This lipstick is lightweight, it's smooth and has a satin finish. They're vegan, they're sustainably focused and the shades are just beautiful. I'm actually wearing one of the shades right now. The shade that I'm wearing is the fashion shade. It has a nice finish. It actually comes off like a powder so if I just press on my lip it like stamps the lipstick on my lip. It's buildable. It doesn't emphasize if you have dry lips, which I really, really love. And the next lipstick shade that I also got 
that I wanted to try out was La Avenue. So this is a darker shade. This is more romantic, which is why I wanted to try it out. But let me show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so I took off that other lipstick, and now I'm going to try on the La Avenue for y'all. The packaging is just so freaking cute. I love it. So it's this beautiful darker shade, and I think that it's so romantic because if I, you know... If I go on a date or something, or if I'm out and about, I think that this is such a nice nighttime lipstick. See, I'm just going to press it on for y'all so I can show y'all how easy it is to apply this lipstick and also how to build up on it. It already has, like, such a nice shade. And I barely put on any, like... I'm just tapping and it has a nice satin finish just like that when I am out of this makeup or I run out you already know I'm gonna be buying some more I have to restock I think that they're just a pleasant experience wearing lipstick <laughs> So if y'all do decide to try any of their lipsticks, I do have a link down below in my description box. And with every purchase through that link, I do receive a small percentage of commission at no cost to y'all. So if y'all were interested, I would highly appreciate it if you could use my link to purchase these lipsticks. Thank you so much everyone and thank you so much to Merit Beauty. I'm so honored and blessed to have had this opportunity to try more makeup products and really just share my favorites with y'all today. Next that I'm going to go into are movies. So these are two movies that I've watched within this past month that I felt were really noteworthy. I watched more but they weren't like super impressive but these two really caught me off guard. So the first movie I wanted to talk about was Marrowbone. This came out in 2017, and just to give y'all a little bit of a synopsis, it is about a young man and his three younger siblings who have kept secret the death of their beloved mother in order to remain together, are plagued by a sinister presence in the sprawling manner in which they live. This was an awesome movie, okay? It's great acting. I didn't expect the twist in this movie, and it was just so suspenseful. I thought it was a great, great movie, so I highly recommend it. If y'all do decide to watch it or you have watched this movie, comment down below because I want to know your thoughts. The next movie I watched this past month was called Spell, and this one came out in 2020. It is about a man crash lands in rural Appalachia and awakens in the attic of a traditional hoodoo practitioner. He desperately tries to break free from her dark magic and save his family from a sinister ritual before the rise of the blood moon. This movie gave me stress the entire time. My blood pressure was through the roof, the acting was great, and it's basically about dark magic type stuff. So it was so, so entertaining to watch. So these were the two movies I felt were worth even mentioning. That's pretty much it. I hope that y'all enjoyed this monthly favorite video. Um, again, if you haven't already seen my last month's favorite video, I will go ahead and link it down in the description box. Thank you so much again to all of y'all supporting me, commenting and subscribing, liking my videos, and just watching them. I, I can't express enough gratitude to every single one of y'all. And I think by the time this video goes out, it'll be July 4th. So if you do live in the U.S., I hope that you have a safe and fun and happy weekend. And stay tuned. I post every single Monday.